What's up, Juventini? There is nowhere to hide for Dusan Vlaovic. He is the focal point of media attention, fan attention around his current struggles. What is Malta doing to try and break him out of this rut? We'll look at the details. In the background, we get more and more strikers being linked as potential targets for Juntili. One of those names is the one you're all spamming the comments with. So guess what? The link is there. We'll look at the details and the ever-intriguing Paolo Nomolo. He gives us a drop today and he drops the plan for not just a couple months from now, but the plan in the summer as well and another sacrifice being made by Juventus now we also take a look at the numbers that are creating a bit of a frenzy around media as well as over reactionary takes and we've got two more players down at Juve all that much much more right now I'm Berto this is the AJC your channel dedicated to Juventus it's September 24th let's rock with the news and again nowhere to hide for Dusan Vlaovic Mota is working on the problems as well as the rest of the training staff so much to the point that Dusan Vlaovic is receiving a lot of individual training all right a lot of individual work focused on clearing up some areas to the point where it's not just a matter of production but being serviceable to the squad and not getting yourself removed halfway through matches especially big matches like what went down against Napoli furthermore he is putting in extra hours so not just individual training apart from the group but actual extra hours of training to try and correct everything all right so Malta gonna do everything in his power to get this man firing for Juventus let's see if it works in the background we get more and more links all right with strikers that Juntili could potentially look to we've got Olsimen. We've heard about these media reports around Italy about being linked with him and whatnot. There is a release clause there, but the release clause is for non-Italian clubs. It would cost a lot of money. So for Olsimen to even think about it, if there is even a possibility, Vlaovic would have to be sold. The other name, the one you've all been looking for, and that is Victor Jokeres, the player who has got off to a red-hot start for Sporting All right, scoring 10 goals in six league appearances, one in Champions League already. He is red-hot. He's got Juve's attention. He also has Barca's attention, but the price tag, 65 million euros being reported currently, and again, that doesn't happen unless something goes down with Dusan Vlaovic. Will something happen with Dusan Vlaovic? Are we heading down the same road we saw with Fede Chiesa I said I expect that to be the next thing that goes down but hopefully not because that would mean he has an incredible season for Juventus and that was my main wish but Paolo Nomolo the ever intriguing Nomolo gives us a plan this is what he believes is going to go down. In a couple of months, you are going to see Arthur head back to Brazil. This opens the door for Jonathan David to enter at Juventus and allow Juve to beat the competition to the free agent signature at season's end. The first bid, according to Paolo Nomolo, will be around 10 million euros for Jonathan David. In the summer, he says, the issue was, is, and always will be, Dusan Vlaovic and he says the reason why is simply the salary and you could see with all the moves that Juntili has done that's not going to fall in line with the work he's doing he will be sacrificed in the summer according to Paolo Nomolo so what are you feeling about this hypothetical plan? Arthur leaves. We go after Jonathan David, bring him in in January. You move Dusan Vlaovic next summer and try to strike on a big ticket striker. And maybe it is Jokadej. Maybe it is Osimhen. How do you feel about that hypothetical plan? Hit me in the comments, everybody. Now, we get to the numbers. The numbers around Juve right now that are creating a bit of a frenzy, all right? So, everybody making this a major blow up 14th rank in total shots 17th rank in touches inside the opponent's area 17th in shots on goal 16th on crosses and open play 14th in shots outside the box look really all this does is reiterate exactly what we all saw with our eyes the eye test and that is that we played five games so far in league three of them were against clamp down opponents and we simply have to do better there it's a combination of chemistry some personnel issues but mostly malta as well finding the right formula 
Paolo Nomolo also spoke to this and saying that he believes it's only a matter of time before he does that. I feel the same way. Are there some players that could help us? Conceição, all eyes are on him because he could be one of those guys that helps us in that scenario. But I think there's much, much more there and Mota needs to sort it. But these numbers shouldn't be creating a frenzy. But they are. And people are highlighting them. Media is highlighting them. Media is also choosing to attack players like Douglas Luiz. Nomolo also also made a comment on Douglas Luiz stating that a lot of the players that have returned from Copa America have been in poor physical condition and taking longer to get adapted to the full speed for matches and Luiz is one of them but he says he has zero concerns around Douglas Luiz and to be honest I am right there as well. He's had one bad showing against Empoli in that start but that doesn't mean we throw him to the back of the bus and that he's at the lowest mark on the totem pole which some media outlets are saying. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a start against Genoa also. But Conceição, he's getting closer. In training today, he was the first one to hit the pitch. It looked good. Leipzig still looks like it's on track and that is very, very soon. However, we get bad news because we've got two more players down. Adzic is the latest with a muscular problem. He goes down and that actually happened during the warm-ups for the Napoli game. So anyone looking to Adzic to help out the issues that Malta's facing and breaking through, it ain't going to be him. He is looking to return after the October break, okay? And the second player, Savona. Savona down with a left foot issue out of training today, but he left for precautionary measures. We'll know more in the next couple days after he gets evaluated. And that right there wraps up your news break to today. You all know the drill. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, join our AJC Army, but let me know what you think about all the news you just heard here today. And I'm back tomorrow as always with the next edition till then fino alla fine forza juventus ciao a tutti